Selena Gomez get the look video and I'm really excited I love these videos you guys love these videos they're kind of like one of my OG series on this channel and uh, I'm really pumped to do this one because Selena has kind of been changing up her style she's a little bit more retro uh, it's been a year since I've done one for her and I thought it would be a perfect opportunity with all of her new music coming out and all of her new like cover art and it's just very different so I was really excited uh, I also thought it would be a great opportunity to kind of change up the way I do the get the looks so normally I would go for like her everyday style or like stuff she posts on Instagram or like candidates of her uh, which I am doing two outfits for that um, but the rest of them I decided to show you guys how to take some of her new uh, cover art or photo shoots or stuff from her music videos and show you guys how to make it more wearable still achieve that style while putting your own twist on it so I noticed a lot of my comments on my fall lookbook you guys felt that the voiceover was a little too rushed and the video was like a little bit too to the point if that makes sense so I'm gonna talk through it this time try something new so I'm gonna begin with what I normally do forget the looks and do her kind of like everyday style or stuff that she's been seen in with paparazzi or on her Instagram and I'm gonna start off with this look and I love this I think it's awesome she's wearing a wrap dress it's a very simple look very easy kind of very summery but what I think is awesome about it is you could totally make it wearable for fall by adding a jacket or maybe some over-the-knee boots or anything like that you could even wear it to school university probably since dress codes are so crazy now um, but anyways I think it's awesome so how I found a dress that was somewhat similar I decided to stick with three elements the wrap dress floral and I decided to stick with blue since her dress kind of had a blue tone to it so the one I found is from Lulu's it looks like this it's a wrap dress obviously and it's awesome it was super super affordable and I thought it matched the style of hers really well obviously it had the wrap style the floral is definitely different um, but it had the same type of like cap sleeves and just the style of it felt very similar to me and hers was actually vintage so it's not like I could even find it on a website for you guys to give you the exact one for the shoes I went on boohoo such a great site it's super affordable and they have a ton of styles and I found shoes that were very very similar I went for a lower heel or more of like a level platform hers are very high and I thought that making it a little bit more level made it uh, more wearable all right so look number two so this outfit you guys sent to me a bunch on Twitter and I absolutely love it it's perfect to kind of transition into fall if the weather's not as hot because it involves denim jeans or high-waisted girlfriend jeans whatever you want to call them it's my favorite thing to wear starting off with the main kind of event of this outfit and that is the striped top so I looked everywhere for hers I will have all of her exact outfit pieces listed right here um, very expensive very hard to recreate as far as getting it exact uh, so I just really stuck with the kind of sleeveless striped top and I found this one from Urban Outfitters uh, I love it I think the colors are bright and fun like hers it definitely does have a texture material it's like knit uh, and hers is kind of a mohair it's very fuzzy so sticking with that kind of texture and stripe is gonna give you a very similar look and color so obviously how I styled it was with some high-waisted denim jeans that I already have I bet you guys have these in your closet whether you really only need one pair of these but I just wore some that I had from Reformation just some high-waisted girlfriend denim jeans and then for my shoes she was wearing mules they were colored uh, like orange cross mules um, but I already had mules in my closet so I had these ones from Tony Bianco they're like just a tan color they're not crazy color because I felt like that my top was really bright whereas a lot of her colors were more muted and then for her sunglasses she was wearing bright colored ones I didn't have any like this so I just stuck with one of my go-to sunglasses for the summer and they're these cat eye ones from Urban Outfitters I love doing get the look videos but one of my main things I tell you guys is to wear stuff that's your style if you want to draw inspiration from celebrities and other bloggers and stuff that's amazing I even do that um, but it's definitely important to stay true to you and what you like and for me that was sticking to some of my pieces I already had in my closet okay so now moving on to one of my favorite photo shoots she's ever done and that is the Vogue photo shoot she looked so stunning in this I was obsessed with all of the pictures they were amazing and I knew when I was gonna do a get the look video for her I wanted to recreate at least one look 
So none of the looks she's wearing in that are wearable for every day at all. So it was definitely a challenge, but I think my favorite look was the one of her in the swimsuit. And that one for sure was hard. I was gonna stick with a swimsuit style, if you guys saw my week in my life, where I was talking about when I was hunting for it. I was gonna stick with a swimsuit, but then I decided, swimsuit, end of summer, let's do something that's a little bit even more wearable than a swimsuit. So I looked for a dress or a romper. So I got lucky and I found this one from ASOS. The brand is Boohoo, I believe. Yep, super affordable. I think it was like $30. Uh, but what really stuck out to me is the mixed floral print. They're similar florals, but the colors are different, which is the key thing in her swimsuit photo that she was wearing. She was wearing a Tommy Hilfiger one. It sold out already. It sold out like immediately after the shoot was posted. Uh, so I wanted to do something very similar that gave off a similar look. So I found this dress. I think it matches so well. It's so comfy and flowy, perfect for kind of those really hot summer days. Um, like I said, you could even dress this up for fall, like a brown jacket over this would look amazing. Uh, so yeah, I kind of stuck with that. Instead of doing her like slick back photo shoot hair, I just went for a slick back bun with some hoop earrings that I already own from Urban Outfitters. You can go for the thicker style if you really, really want to go exact, um, but any hoops will do and it'll give you a very similar, similar look. And then for my shoes, in the photo shoot, she was wearing these like crazy embroidered peep toe sandals, which were awesome. Obviously you wouldn't wear those with a swimsuit. It's a photo shoot, so obviously it's a little different. So I decided to just stick with what I know and just do some white sneakers. I thought it looked cool. It definitely pulled inspiration from the shoot and it looks very similar, uh, but it's a little bit more toned down and more wearable, which is exactly what I wanted going for. Now let's talk about her music videos because lately she's been killing it. I love the new style that she's doing. It's like very retro. So the first music video that I'm gonna talk about is Bad Liar because I absolutely love that music video. It was so fun. Again, I knew I wanted to pull inspiration from that video to recreate a look. So I was trying to think of something. The school look that she did was, I could have done that, it would have been easy, but I was like, you know what, no. We're gonna go for the nightgown because I love the nightgown. I thought it was a really fun dress. Uh, so obviously hers was pulled from vintage. I don't even know where it's from. I'm pretty sure it's like pulled from a costume archive. Uh, so I found one from Topshop. Now Topshop can be kind of expensive and you guys know forget the look videos. I try to keep it very affordable. Uh, this one was, but in specific, I thought it matched perfectly. Uh, the cap sleeves and the way that it's cut around the bust is almost identical to hers. She has like a tie here, but the way it is, it has a very kind of throwback feel and style to it. So I knew instantly when I saw it, I was like, yes, it had these old kind of vintage printed flowers all over it, like daisies, mixed colors, which is what she had. Uh, the only thing is that this is more, a little bit more pastel, which is hers had more of like a mustardy, um, darker toned color to it, if that makes sense. Um, but overall, I thought it matched really well. Uh, and what's awesome about this is it's an actual dress. It's not a nightgown. So, cause like you wouldn't wear this to bed, right? So you could just throw on some, I just wore the same mules from before, which are just tan, very simple. And uh, one of my straw bags. And I thought it looked super cute, very easy. Again, pulling the whole retro inspiration, um, but it's something you can take out of your house. Okay, and then last but not least is the fetish music video. And it's one of the most recent. I think it's awesome. I think she killed it. It was definitely very different for her. So I knew I wanted to recreate the two looks from there because they were a challenge. So starting off with her yellow dress, which is kind of vague because they're both yellow, but the one with the shopping bags, the kind of like promo photos for it. Uh, that one was so hard for me to find because it definitely is like a vintage complete style like with the cap sleeves, the buttons, like you can't find a dress anywhere like that unless it's like on an Etsy vintage site which would not be helpful for you guys at all. So I thought I would switch it up and I went on Boohoo and I was looking for just like yellow, light yellow dresses and I found one which is what you see in the video here. I think it's awesome. It has the sleeves which were, uh, which was a huge find because finding dress, dresses with sleeves like that was really hard. Uh, it's definitely more low cut. Um, but it has a similar cut and style to it. I wore it with some platform shoes, which are just from Superga. I already have owned these. So the whole outfit itself was really easy. I thought it gave off a very similar look, but in my opinion, it's still not wearable enough for me. Like I would not wear that outfit out. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are kind of agreeing with me right now. Uh, so that dress ended up selling out as soon as I bought it, which is actually kind of 
good because I found another one that looks like this from ASOS that's more of a short, shorter cut and it just kind of has a more relaxed look to it that you could wear day to day. Wear it with the same platform white sneakers and uh, you'd be good to go. So then the other yellow dress is so awesome. I think it was my favorite even more so than her other look in the music video. It has these kind of like 3D flowers or embroidery. It just looks very couture, very awesome. Uh, so I knew it was gonna be a stretch trying to recreate that look or make it more wearable. Um, but I ended up finding this romper from NBD. Uh, you can buy it off of Lulu's and Nordstrom. Uh, it's very, I think it looks very similar. It has kind of the cutouts on the sleeves. It has like a 3D almost look to it like hers did. It is a little bit more low cut, but that's because it is a romper. It's kind of going for a very sum summery feel uh, to it. But I definitely think it works for the look. It gives a similar vibe. Uh, it is a little bit more on the pricey side. It's over $100, uh, but it was probably the best I could do to recreate that look. So uh, yeah. But anyways, that is my video for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below who I should do a Get The Look video for next. And like always, everything I talked about will be linked below, so check it out if you guys are interested in any of the stuff and other items that I link that are similar. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.